In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in Ca3P2. This is calcium phosphide. So when we look at this, there's no negative or positive sign after the Ca3P2. That's because it's neutral. In a neutral compound, the oxidation numbers, they're all going to add up to zero. So we look at our rules here. We see calcium. That's in group two on the periodic table. Each one of these calcium atoms, that's going to be plus two. Phosphorus, it's a good idea just to look at what it's bonded to to figure out its oxidation numbers. We don't see it on our list here. We know that 3 times plus 2, that's plus 6. So for this to be neutral, add up to 0, this would need to be minus 6. So 2 times something would give us minus 6. 2 times minus 3, that equals minus 6. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element here in Ca3P2. And again, all of this will add up to zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for calcium phosphide. Thanks for watching.